Hi, Cruise Critic. I'm Gavin McLeod, and I want to tell you I'm very happy to be with you today. Well, uh, I, I cruise exclusively with Princess Cruises. I've been representing them. I've been a spokesperson since 1986 when they had two small ships, the Pacific Princess and the Island Pr Princess, which we shot the love boat on all those years. And uh, since the love, the show went off the air in 86, they have grown and grown and grown. They called me in 86 when the show was over. I was doing a play in Cape Cod. I said, would you like to be the spokesperson for Princess Cruises? I said, what a marriage, man. It's perfect. And I've been with them ever since. And I feel, instead of them, I say us, because it's really a family there. We now have 17 mega ships. You know, and just next week, I will be on the new uh, Royal Princess. But anyway, so I know about Princess Cruises. I don't know what, too much about the other lines, but I know how we work. And I'm telling you, I'm honored to be with them. And now we have this, the wonderful growth. And the new, the new ship is absolutely incredible. I could give you a whole sales pitch on that, but I don't think that's what I'm supposed to talk about. But I would encourage everybody within my voice, if you want to escape completely, take a Princess Cruise. <laughs> One of the most memorable uh, shows we did, we almost didn't do it, is because it was a show that dealt with a hurricane, and we were in the middle of a hurricane. And we were off, some of us were off on an island on a daily trip. And this hurricane came up, <laughs> and the only one to take to take take the ship over was Isaac, the bartender. I mean, come on, Hollywood, I love you, uh, but he's wonderful and gifted and all that. But for I don't think in reality that would ever happen. But it was a happy ending, and Aaron Spelling insisted on happy endings, and it was a happy ending. But it was a little way out there. That was probably one of the furthest shows from reality that we have done, except the dog came on, a pregnant dog came on and had a whole series of puppies on there. I mean, I don't know if that's ever happened on the ship. I know a lot of people, I, in the early days, I used to meet a lot of people from England, older folks, used to bring their stuffed animals with them. That's true. Uh, but wild stories, I mean, Charo, who was pretty wild, she did a lot of sh shows there, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci girl. And she was absolutely fabulous, you know. She's the world's second best flamenco guitarist. And she's a sensational person, I must say. There are two, three places I like to go. Oh, <laughs> time is running out. But uh, I, there are two places I like to go I haven't been. One is Scotland and one is Ireland. And one is Brazil. I would love to get to Rio. I would love to see Christ up there in person. Well, a good, a good tip, if, you, if you're going to go on a cruise, and I'm sure a lot of the people who are listening to me right now have been on cruises, that's why they're listening. But I would say always bring a lot of clean underwear. Sometimes the, the, the laundries don't work, and so you want to make sure you have that. But I hope you're smiling because I think that's kind of funny. That shows you where I'm coming from. You know, you can bring whatever underwear you want. You can live the life you want, but I'm princess. We always have clean underwear. Uh, bring your dreams with you because you're going to be realizing dreams on cruise ships. Wherever you go, whatever you do. I know a lot of people now have cruised so much, they just got on the ship just to get away and don't even get off. They've been to all the ports. But just to get away, that wonderful way of getting away from some of the pressures of life. That's what I always loved about it. And I love, if you, if you can afford it, get a balcony. And I use the balcony because it's just so beautiful and I can commune to God on the balcony and thank him for everything he's given me and, and giving the cruise line too and the cruise business. You know, it's just humbling to think that when the Love Boat, a little television show that the critics knocked, you know, being mindless, we gave rebirth to the cruise industry. Before we went on the air, just a few affluent people really cruised and now it's just amazing. And now I just saw two new ships that people own their own condos on these ships. They look like New York apartments inside. And they pick where they want to go in the world and they go there. Everybody on the ship votes and they go to these different places. And that's their hotel and that's like it is in real life with, with the rest of us on a cruise line. But I, I think balconies are just the greatest thing that's ever happened. And, and Princess, if you take a Princess, oh, the thing, the innovation that I love the Princess did many years ago that many of the cruise lines have followed, they have a huge screen outside uh, on the top deck overlooking the pool. And so it's, the smallest one is 70 feet by 30 feet. The Royal Princess is 700 square feet. It's huge. 
and you see concerts. I saw Paul McCartney do a concert a few months ago when I was coming uh, across the Adriatic in the daytime. It was such a thrill. Only myself and this one man, everybody else was off the ship. I had already been where they were going, and I, Paul is a friend of mine, and I wanted to see this concert. He opened Shea Stadium, and I saw it right for his drummer is a good friend of mine, and I, I saw this, and I thought, thank you, God, they have this on our ship. What a treat. And I was the only one watching, except as I went up the stairs when it was over, there was an old stodgy guy sitting there. I said, boy, Paul McCartney still got it, doesn't he? And he said, he used to have. I said, he used to have, he used to have, he ain't got much anymore. I said, oh boy, some people just don't enjoy some of the joys of life, you know what I mean? Enjoy the joys of life on a cruise. It gives you great memories, great photographs. It's almost rejuvenating when you really think about it. So it's healthy. So take care of yourself. Put on those life jackets when they tell you. Don't try to, I always do, we always do it. And find out where you have to exit for safety. And God bless you and have a great time.